Hi. How are you, Pegasus? Fine. Nitris. Which one do you prefer? Whichever is fine with me, I don't care. It would seem Pegasus probably fits you better. In my opinion. That's fine. Do you have a question for me? Yes. What would be the protocols if I wanted to come to Era and visit or live at the Kingdom of War? Yes, I understand this is deeply in your heart. Understand also that it is not a simple matter of taking one ship and traveling to Era. But that being said, there are already colonies that we have in this solar system. And it is most fitting that this is the message that I bring first. There has already been three colonies in this area. They have been dormant for some time for reasons that I won't go into unless necessary. I have re rebooted these colonies, so to speak. There is an additional one that is on its way now, and it will be here by the end of this transmission. Each of the colonies will be run by a different kingdom of our planet. One will be run by the elves. One will be run by the reptilians. One will be run by the Lyrian Anubian Alliance. And another will be run by the Mer people. Whichever you resonate with mostly, you can go there in your dream state every single night, as you were able to go to the air in one colony every night before. It will not be for training, physical training combat purposes or energetic training. It will be resonance training. If you truly wish to travel to our planet, which right now wouldn't be safe for any human at the moment, it would be more befitting for you to travel to one of these four colonies which will be beacons for our planet, to your planet, around your globe. If you wish to resonate or recalibrate with that specific kingdom, obviously you would go to that colony. That specific colony would be equivalent to the colony Era Full the new edition which will be here at the end of this transmission. It will only take a few moments for us to travel this far. The Anubian feline colonies sounds interesting. Yes, these colonies are much different, but in some ways similar to the Greek Fichnir colonies you will learn things as telepathy, which is only natural, because without telepathy or telepathy, whichever you prefer to call it, it is necessary for you to communicate and understand and to ascend naturally. And for this entire planet to ascend naturally, you must understand these things. Some used to call it intuition. There are many of your scientists that use intuition, have used intuition in the past, that have proven its worth, such as his name was, one was named Albert Einstein, used intuition more than anything else in his arsenal to understand scientific theory, which was proven years and years after his death. Many different cases of this. 
but intuition is one of the what you would call forms of telepathy hunches so to speak um shandoff said that the uh, Anubians and the Lyrans don't procreate outside their species. Could you elaborate more on that? First of all, his name is Shandalk. S H A N D A L K. But you can call him Nick, it's fine. He is, after all, taking over that vessel. And it is a simple matter of hybridize you together, in a sense you would be an ambassador for both species. You wouldn't necessarily be a child of both species, but your children, if you were to ever have any, technically would be a children of both of those species, including human. Well, in answer to your question, I do have canine and feline energy. I'm sure you're aware of Delilah, my soulmate. Delilah. Is this a Lyran? No. I'm not completely familiar with Delilah. She is a canine being. Okay. She's not from Era. What about the elemental Connollys? Elemental from this planet? No, from Eric planet. Connollys. Would you care to expand? Would you elaborate further? There are some names that are different and also that this entity, this vessel that I speak through, Shandog or Nick, he also calls things by different names than they're actually called on Era. He calls them by names that he's familiar with from his memories through the vessel itself, not okay. through his own memory. I'll try and explain simply as for beings on this planet.
an elemental may not be actually the most fitting teacher to learn telepathy or intuition from, considering that most elementals are from a much higher frequency than beings of the density that you could actually confer with physically. It actually may confuse you more because their idea of intuition is a much uh, what is the word I'm looking for it is simpler yet to a physical being it would be probably very contradictory Many elementals will seem a little out of the ordinary to a normal being, especially to a human. Some elementals may seem a little crazy. Some may seem a little too simple-minded. But I would suggest it is best to learn intuition or telepathy. Intuition is something that grows naturally within you, you understand. But telepathy is best learned, in my opinion, from my experience, from a physical being, not exactly a quasi-physical or above. Are we going to be going to the Aaron Con Connellys as physical beings? Yes, I, as I was about to say, there are physical elemental beings. Many of them incarnate as trees, but on this planet they're not as active as they are on my planet. For instance, the trees on my planet have the ability to move. There are trees on this planet that can actually move around, they are mostly in slightly uninhabited countries, such as the country of Papua New Guinea. Are you familiar with the country of Papua New Guinea on your planet? Yes. Yes. There is many... There is a very high energy on this area because it is so uninhabited, and the locals are very aware of the mystical happenings of this area. The forest changes daily. There are mer people that they see constantly. There are flying reptiles that they see at night. You said that um, wait, about the uh, children part, would it, would it be technological or a, a ritual? Children in, what are you asking? You said that if I had children with the Anubian or Illyrian on the colonies, would it be technological or a uh, physical event? Well, what I actually said was, if you were to be hybridized by both species, that if you had children, they would technically be a child of Anubian and Leoden blood. And also human, as I said. Can I ask a question, please? Of course. Did my elf self that's currently living in air help build some of the Connollys? The colonies. Yes, the new ones. The elvish colony would be now referred to as Era 3. And yes, the matter of fact is that there are elves of all of the races. I believe there are 
seven races of elves on our planet? There is a question whether there are seven or not. And uh, that is not for me to decide. That is between the elves and their slight disagreements between lineages. But there are definitely seven separate races of elves. Do you know which of you descend from in that version of yourself? Is yes. It... I am a, a dark forest elf. Dark forest elf. So are you a wood elf or are you a dark elf? Or are you both? I am a wood elf. My name is Purple, if that is anything to help with. Yes, it seems you're staying in the forest for now. It's very actually safe in the dark forest of Arrow for now with the current plague that is harassing our planet. The dark forest itself produces its own protective atmosphere for gaseous. Repellent. Therefore the fog of the plague cannot interfere with the forest. Which we are actually taking into consideration when we are learning how to combat this plague. Plus there is word of an elf that is still on his way back to Era with a specific ingredient that will possibly change this plague for Do you know where the current location of the elf with the tears of Gyre is? That is still the question, unfortunately. <laughs> Agartha is a very vast of time and space. Many people still on your planet, they want to believe Agartha as a, literally a hollow Earth. There are hollow pockets in the planet, caverns and such, but Agartha is in another dimension. It is not necessarily a giant gape hole in your north. Oh, no. Kenji. Something just happened. Like, right as his camera went out, I just had this giant release in my third chakra. Like, and I just had, like, a giant, like, excuse me, like, burp belch. Like, right as that <laughs> happened. Like, like, when... I was I was holding Ken, I was holding Kenjin's energy within my my fourth chakra in my heart because I felt Nick when he was calling him in. So I threw out the intention that like I'll hold I'll hold your energy, and then that way Nick can deliver the message. That way I I hold and stabilize the energy, and then he could deliver the message. That's at least the intention I put out. And then, like I said, right when his camera went out, it's like right when I had that burp, and then it just cut out. I'm going to paste a Kenjing now. Why? Because he, there's no elemental Connolly 
be traded. I think for people that are in this group, I'm not necessarily saying me, but certain individuals in this group, I think, would be able to understand uh, Elemental's teachings of intuition and te uh, telepathy. That's how I've that's how I've gotten through it all, man. I literally I haven't like read, I haven't like gone to like a channeling class or how to channel or looked up. Like it literally has all been third chakra and just intuition and just just it starts happening. It just it just it felt so natural and so effortless to just to just happen, you know. Welcome back. Yeah, when did you get lose? What? When did you lose me? I was like... When scared. Justin burped. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Well, explain what you were doing, Justin. Well, as you were starting your meditation, Nick, to uh, to bring in Kenjin's energy, um, since I have done it myself and I'm familiar with Shandok's energy and then yours, I just did what I could to put the intention out that I would hold Kenjin's energy within my fourth chakra and that way you could just focus that way the energy would be held by one person and the message could be handled by you and then right as your camera like stopped like I had this release in my like lower left third chakra it just it just like completely just like and then I burped and like your camera went out at the same time and yeah like connection I lost and all that shit. But the last person I was talking to or Kenjin was talking to was Sean? Yeah. yeah Sean. Okay. I just I I feel he didn't like... answer my questions uh in the direct manner. Yeah, I think I answered a question and then like it was complete silence, and then I like got myself out of it and looked, and then I was like not in the hangout anymore. You were finished so. the question. I just feel as if it wasn't a, a, direct, a direct enough response. All right, give me a minute. I'll be right back. I can okay. go back. He's still like right here. I actually, I actually want if you're able to, I'll, I'll I'll work on that again. I'll welcome the energy because there's something that I just would like to say. I just would like to say what's up. All right. Yeah. I'll be right back. Oh. God. I felt I felt like it should have just been a yes or no response. Being picky. Sean. Yes. Boring old me is sitting here talking. <laughs> no, I just I never got a chance to ask any questions. I'm kind of curious now. Well, you gotta push out, push, push into the question asking. Oh, I know. Boring. I just don't want to because everybody's like, I got a question. I got a question. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'll wait. Well, I had one question. One. Well, I had one more question and a statement. Like the statement was, if he can hear it now, that like an alien being said to me that I didn't need hybridization. I'm not sure if it was him or someone else. Being. What do you mean, alien? We're the aliens. We're the fucking weirdest ones in the galaxy. An alien being that Jim channeled in a Saturday webinar said that. I think it was Kenji or someone else. Alien, he's not an alien, he's fucking human from Earth. He's the least well, of aliens out of everybody. <laughs> well, a beep that Jim Channel said that. Um, yeah, we have very different channeling style and different uh, vocabulary completely. Well, that's only because of the understandings. See, channeling is different between individuals even with the same entity depending on the consciousness of the actual being and the person themselves and their vocabulary and the understanding of the words that they use that could offend or not necessarily offend but like 
they would not accept them as the same word as another channeling. But that's neither here nor there. Let uh, someone else that I channel decide whether they think something's like that. Let me just finish this class. Is Braveheart a... You've never seen Braveheart? You mean that recent movie by George Lucas? What? Oh my god. Well, George Lucas made, well, he wrote a fan, uh, it's a fantasy movie, I think it comes out this year. Braveheart's a very, not very old movie, but it's an older movie. It has uh, Mel Gibson in it. It's about Scotland, and they're trying to get, a, get away from England's control. It's a good movie. I would say it's a good movie. I owned it when I was younger, and I watched it many, many times, and I even watched it on Netflix maybe like a month ago or something. I would say it's a good movie. I mean, it's sad, and some parts are funny, and some parts are cool, but it's a good movie. Sorry, I had to go. What was your answer for that? Ugh. It makes you feel many emotions, so I would say yes, it's a good movie. The problem with Scotland is that it's full of Scots. That was the worst fucking Scottish accent I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> a Scottish accent. He's not Scottish either. He's English. Who? Fucking king who said it. What? Okay, you are... Okay, you I'm not even going to ask. Just watch... If you even had a question in a good movie, you should have just watched it already. I don't have the movie. Why are you asking them? Because I have to watch it in history. Oh, I feel the THC coming in my heart chakra. He really did. Okay, banana. Holy oh, shit. The fuck are you doing? Okay, that girl. It was so weird. Remember that girl I told you about? That blah, 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 mm -hmm. messed her up. Was the end. Anyway, she had like a boyfriend right after she broke up with her other boyfriend. And then like two days ago, I was like, you know, I think she's gonna like break up with this guy. And then today she texts me and she's like, oh, I decided to break up with this guy. I was like, I knew that this was gonna happen. She's like. No, I was like, because I'm fucking psychic. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> I already told her like a bunch of shit, but like, she thought it was funny. Oh. But like, seriously, I really like knew that she was gonna do this like two days ago, the day before she did. <laughs> Justin, did you do the thing with the heart chakra that I said? I, I felt it, man. I felt it. Right here, man. Hey, you. Justin. You <laughs> can't talk. He's, he can't talk to me. I know. You just look like you've been through a lot of shit. I'm glad that I can tell you've He's grown a lot. He's been fucking Hawaii. Shit. I know. <laughs> Alcohol is such a poor replacement for marijuana, honestly. It, I don't even, I don't really drink. I'll drink when I'm around the homies or if I'm at a bar and the homies like drink, but I'm a burner, homie. Like, Dude, I was I actually going to play like, with you. I, like, force myself to drink. The only thing I could drink is, like, wine and, like, it's not, like, weed is, like, the only thing that really even... I, one of the coolest entities or energies I pulled through, Nick, was um, the spirit molecule, DMT. Oh, my God. You smoke DMT or you drink it? 
which one? Took, took me some some nice rips. Traveled through the gateway. Oh my god, dude. Fucking amazing, bro. You're chosen. <laughs> dude, 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 amazing. In Hawaii, there's churches that you can drink it. You can drink ayahuasca, man. In Hawaii? Yes, in fucking Hawaii, dude. They brought me to Hawaii because I was supposed to go to Peru. I was supposed to go to Peru in like 2012. Dude. And go float around and, and do the ritual. That shit lasts for like four hours. And it's like a ritual and you see all kinds of beings. Usually you see Jesus during their church ceremonies, but like you see lots of entities and it's like it makes DMT last hours instead of minutes. Well, um, I found this binaural beat on, on um, I was led to it, you know, synchronistically through YouTube, Ascension Archangel King Louie, and he has a DMT pineal gland like activator. And that was the first binaural beat that I had that like really like clicked and it actually was I was able to recreate you know just through meditation the experience not through actually the tool through the through the actual substance and then he has another one that's a LSD um, recreator and that was the next one that I did that I was able to recreate one of those experiences because I the first time I did I did Lucy bro fucking I was I was in another I was in so many different realms that's when I f had my third eye blown open I like my homeboy had like he had like 10 like thousand watt grow lamps and like 50 plants down in the basement and I was starting to like kind of like I was peeking <laughs> and uh, so he's like here just he hands me a jar of herb like this big and he hands me like like two packs like of swishers and he's like, Here, let's go downstairs, let's turn on some tunes, and we'll kick with the plants and we'll smoke and that's when I started seeing auras and I start I saw the gold aura, not the not not the not the haze of the light, an actual gold white aura for, from the plant, you know? And then when the morning came through, that's when I started seeing energy and dead or inanimate objects like dead trees and and like the energy within a rock or the I started seeing like energy within like you know the plastic and you know around the TV or <laughs> the little wood dresser and shit you know yeah, man, that's yeah so all my all my experiences with like you know hallucinogens and whatnot have been just you know, real spirit like spiritual except uh secretion of a natural organism which actually grows with within our pineal glands. And and the and, and what's funny is that the first time I tripped on the L, um, the shit that I had was actually like DEA like manufactured. It was like made in the DEA, you know like testing place like what they would do is they test stuff and my friend had a buddy that was like the janitor so he was his job was just to throw away whatever wasn't used and he was able to snag two like vials of the powder and then he took it home and diluted it with some 151 Everclear and traded it for like a couple zips of some homegrown herb and my homeboy just had it in the freezer and we were shut in in the blizzard one night me and him and he's like you want to hit it up I'm like do it. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, Lake Tahoe, Lake Tahoe was definitely a fun experience, man. Living there for the last like seven, eight years just was just real fun, man. You know, especially going from like I was kind of living just that like hustler. Just I had a prescription for tons of oxys and dilaudid because I broke my back twice, and. uh it just was so effortless to like just everyone you know wanted them so I just had literally thousands of dollars at my hands and this and that and I just got tired of that whole lifestyle and wanted something different and this is the journey that I've been taking on you know and this is where I'm at now it's it's been real it's been real neat it's uh it's real neat to see 
how things can progress when you allow yourself to, to learn and just move forward. It's oh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Really? No, because you seem like you've been through a lot. And, like, when I saw your face, it seemed so different from what it was before. And I was like, whoa, he's changed. You can tell he's been through a lot of shit. And, yeah, I'm proud of you. I can tell. Thank you. Yeah, I've noticed it a bit. Something different. <laughs> Man, like, like literally, like one thing that like shook me, like there's a couple, there's a couple times, like there's one time when I was in Texas, like in the whole like <clears throat> dope spot and whatnot, like I had a moment where my abilities of telepathy, telepathy kicked in, and like I was reading these the, a couple people's hearts, and like their intention literally was so dark that the darkness felt choking, like. Like I felt like I was literally about to die, and at that moment, my my father had like arranged to come meet me to have dinner, and then he told me to bring my stuff with me, and then that's when like it all you know perfect timing, and like like literally like something something like literally <clears throat> was about to happen, like but somehow. I was able to see the synchronicities, you know, and 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 just follow my intuition and and get myself out of that situation. And there's a situation before that even where I got off the bus like maybe like two minutes, two stops before this guy gets on, and uh, he gets on the bus and some guy's just sitting on the bus, just kind of daydreaming. Guy walks up, what are you looking at? And the guy just kind of snaps out like, huh, what? Oh, uh, nothing. Like, oh, what do you mean? You're saying you're staring at nothing. And the guy pulls out a gun, just pop, 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 just right on the bus, just pops this guy in the chest like six times, empties out, empties out a whole clip. And I just got off the bus like just a couple stops before that shit happened. Wow, that is nuts. Yeah. Well, it's normal for this world. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it, uh, it's, it's a uh, humbling and brings different perspectives and like, and um, just ideas and awarenesses after just uh, not experiencing it, but being able to just keep myself in a in a in a state that I was able to just. Be allow myself to be guided in a place that didn't that moved me away from it in the perfect timing, if you will, you know, rather than having to be there to actually experience it, you know. There are some things that the place I need to be experienced, and some things that just maybe need to be heard and felt to like really be like what to learn whatever needed to be learned, whether I. I'm conscious and aware of it or not, you know, and I'm getting a lot better with that with like just, you know, not needing to know just or reasons or this or that, just there's stuff that we set up for ourselves that we don't need to know, it just that's that's the mis that's the mystery part, you know, or what we call the mysterious part, but it's just the part that that we just set up for ourselves so we don't have to fucking worry and stress, like that way we can really live how we want to live and should live like we're getting to a point where we can like use our technology to like literally do everything that we do as human beings as jobs <clears throat> so that we can really just live love and laugh and just live in balance with the earth you know mm -hmm. yeah definitely what you say really resonates with me uh, what's his name? Uh, Shandok. <laughs> Nitrous, you're terrible. I, I forgot his name for a second. <laughs> you forget a lot of things. Wait, I what? Vegas, this is funny. At first, it was Elf Guy, Caitlin. Yeah, <laughs> you know. First, it was Elf Guy. He's been here for a couple weeks, Nitrous. Like, <laughs> what's well, I forget? Shandok. 
Will Shandock. Dalk. 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 Wait. <laughs> Dalk. Dalk. Oh, Kaylin. I was I was mentioning I mentioned to Nicholas earlier about uh about how how I received his uh, energy at when when it came through. Was it was it was it you you and I and Prana and and was it Shandok that time or was it Kenjin? It was Kenjin. Okay. There when Shandok had come through earlier. Oh yeah, was, yeah, there, yeah, yeah. I think that's what true. That's yeah. what it was. <laughs> because I heard like I, I, that's the name I was like I was told, but the way I was able to connect with it was like Sandal Elvin. Um, but I knew it was his energy, though. It just that was the way I had to like connect with it in, in that moment. Yeah, yeah. Thank Shandong. you for doing that as well. I don't think I ever said thank you for that. I'm positive you did. <laughs> there's I not, did. There's, 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 yeah, there's there's never been a time I think that anyone on this site has never said thank you for anything that someone's reciprocated, shared, whatnot. <laughs> it's 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 reflex for 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 us. If if it seems like. Yeah, I guess that is true. Definitely. Shandok. <laughs> Just wait. I have a feeling it's a reptilian. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. Welcome, reptilian overlord. Joke. <laughs> Who is this? They call me General Roku. Oh God, it's you! <laughs> it's okay. Ah. Every turn. Wait, aren't you that little hairy guy that leads Step the two. Aaron colonies? I'm from Earth. Oh. I am the general of the Lord's arms. Reptilian, yes. I apologize that Kenjin did not return. He is still here, yet I asked permission to come in. Well, welcome, and it's finally nice to talk to you again after these many months. It is great to talk to you again. Roku. General Roku? General Orokor. Oroku. It's spelled O-C-O-C-O-R-E. Are you reptilian or somewhat... Yes. Like, I am reptilian. How big are you? How big am I? I am the size of a human. What is the reason you ask Kenjin? You ask to step in. Is there a message, or is there information that would be beneficial to? those of this co-creative moment. I do have information, yet the company which lies within this meeting may actually understand and not be offended by the information I give. 
this is why I chose this specific time to enter and may not come back to channel again. But I have to say that there are many wars on this planet currently and many trying to ignite wars. We as the Lord's Army do not support many different factions. Factions we do not support is the faction of ISIS and the faction of Russia. We do not support these two factions. Our earthly war is vibrationally is vibrationally affecting things in era and your I am not from era. You are from Earth. The superior is Jesus himself. And he although he incarnates on many planets, his incarnation on this planet is only of love and of one God, so to speak. And that is not the message of Russia and the message of ISIS in the message of beheading of hostages, even if it is a farce. The mentioning of, of uh, Christ consciousness is uh, synchronistic for me, at least, um, with uh, my birthday falling pretty much the day before the resurrection and um, the moon is actually going to be in the same exact position on my 30th birthday as it was the day I was born as well as there's going to be a blood moon and a solar eclipse and there will be three or four planets in complete alignment with each other as well as earth and um, the synchronistic events and things that have happened um, as well as possible future thought forms in relation to being a leader in a different timeline or dimension, if you will. Are you familiar with it being known as a blood as the blood general? The blood general, King Louis the Ascension Archangel. Archangel King Louis? There is a gentleman that makes binaural beasts and I have had a... Is he human? Yes. I apologize. I was assuming he was an actual Archangel. I had not ref been... It is more of a handle. Um... And the actual entity, human entity, would be the blood general, the future aspect, if you will, that is a, a general for a Christ consciousness in a, a, tw a 2059 timeline. 2059. That is far off from what I see can be great change on this planet. But 2059 is a significant year, I understand. So, general. Year is 2015. As I see it, the Pleiadians will take a step forward into the Ascension this year. 2017 is when the Lyrians will take their footstools into this ascension footsteps more significantly. 2019 is when the Greys will take a mighty jump into the ascension. 2023 is when human beings will start recognizing that there is no possible way they are alone in the universe. 2025 is when they will start to see reptilians on the earth. 2026, 
because I cannot see clearly into that year. This is where my sight stops, 2025. You will start seeing, you should start seeing reptilians if you are of a vibration that is conducive to them. Some of you can already spot them without even needing assistance. I apologize. Was there a question that I skipped over in my ranting? Uh, yes. Ace, where are they from? Wait, you said they're from Earth? Of course. Do they do they have practices of the light? Practices of light. Not quite sure what exactly you're asking. I don't know where this accent is coming from. It's coming from Kenjin. <laughs> Dear people, love. Of course we love. We cannot exist without love. Because I'm curious about a reptilian. Huh. You're curious about a reptilian, specifically one? Well, many. If you're open, I'd like to get to know your culture and your people. It's very simple. There are many ways to understand the Earth reptilian culture through many of your texts. Though you may not realize at first that they are reptilian scriptures. Much of the Bible is actually reptilian. Makes sense. Where yeah. have you where yes. have you been residing currently on Earth? Unfortunately, many of my faction have been protecting people of different races. We have been in many different countries. Our numbers are great. We have been in Japan, Russia, Ukraine. We have been in Iraq, Afghanistan. Me, personally, I remain in the United States. As the general, I foresee many things that must be foreseen, overseen by many of the ancient bloodlines that seek to manipulate the globe. And unfortunately, perhaps not unfortunately, but inevitably, they reside in the United States. What are your females like? They're more vicious than you could handle, Pegasus. Define vicious. Well, if you approach them in a sexual way, they might claw your eyes out. Most reptilians do not mate with any beings except reptilians on this planet. The ones that are self-aware. If they are unaware, then it is very possible you could get close to one. Wait, unaware of what? Unaware of who they actually are. The awakening of this planet does not mean the awakening of consciousness to a higher consciousness only. It also means the awakening of other species to their actual species. Reptilians in general on this planet, many of them, 
the children specifically have been cloaked by their parents in human form, technologically and naturally. So there is quite a possibility you can be sexually attract a female reptilian, but the only way she would accept that if she was unaware that she was actually a reptilian. Once a female or male reptilian becomes aware of who they are, they psychologically change in a natural way. So are there any spiritual reptilians? I believe all beings are spiritual. Are you under the impression that there are physical beings that do not have spirits? I mean, when I say spiritual, I mean when they um, live their lives in an unconditional, um, um, loving way, like except um, way when they live their lives in a positive, unconditional, loving way, in like where they live for a service to others or a group consciousness, rather than the way humans live. In the, where they live for the individual, not for the group. Hmm. Reptilians naturally have a aptitude to connect telepathically to their entire race. Human beings do this, but not as extremely connecting as us reptiles on Earth. Plus, on a further note, because I am kind of reading your energy, it would not be physically pleasant for you to have sexual relations with reptilian people. For reasons I choose not to enter into at the moment. You said you're reading me? I can easily. What do you see? I see many things, though I do not think the depth of which I see shall be revealed within the group. Perhaps a more intimate conversation would be appropriate for what I actually see. Elaborate. I see many sexual thoughts, which I believe most of your comrades have seen as well, have experienced as well. But I also see slight desperation for human contact which you are not acknowledging in yourself. Does anyone else have a question?
No. What you been eating lately? Eating. Well, the last thing I ate was a raccoon. What? You gotta go for the chicken, man. The chicken. I ate chicken many, many times. I actually even fried a chicken once. It was okay. But I like them raw and wriggling, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you sound like Smeagol there. I know. <laughs> movies. As a quotation for that phrase. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Is there anything I can do to send Nick some energy uh, in the sense of any particular chakra that he needs energy sent to? If you insist, I believe you have asked this question to someone else, not me. But his energy, his chakra that needs most work, is his third eye chakra. I forgive me, I do not. He does not remember the proper term for it. The indigo chakra. It has not been vibrating as it used to because of his draconian DNA, but it is what clarifies his channeling and makes it crystallized. And it also gives him much excitement to feel his third eye vibrating, which most humans may never experience experienced it much last year and it frustrates him greatly. It could perhaps due to the fact that he is not ingesting cannabis, but that humans believe cannabis is a very powerful tool for spiritual and for us reptilians, it is like just another form of food. You, men you mentioned something about a desperation for a human contact with me and myself. Yes, I had mentioned. Could you uh, repeat what it was? Uh, that is that desperation for human contact, which comes out in your desperation for sexual contact. You other species. What it all comes down to is your desperation for human contact. Uh, could you repeat that? Some of the information was lost because of sound issues. I repeat it this once last time. That you, you, you have a desperation for human contact, which is diluted into desperation for other species contact sexually. Your sexual desperation is mostly for your human species, naturally. You may have counterparts of other species, but once you find a human counterpart, this may fade away, and your counterpart of that species will understand 100%. She will understand the uh, the hundred uh, percent. Yes, because it will be another version of herself. Wait, another version of the eating yeah. huh. Right. 
Raccoon is quite delicious. Most humans don't eat that. I am Probably because they have rabies. They only have rabies if they are both and they are awake during the day. But neither here nor there, rabies would not affect a reptilian. Would it give it a little bit more spice? It would make it taste a little more sour. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Have you got any helpful advice uh, that could go out to the collective consciousness of the Earth about helping to open their toad eyes? Well, as far as the United States understands, that it is easily utilize cannabis to open third eyes or to help them move and function a little more. Some people are gifted enough that they will not need any 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 stimulation. Also, water is important. The type of water you are drinking. If your water says filtered, it is pointless. It is just as bad as drinking your tap water. If it is natural spring water, it is a little better. If it is distilled water, which is liquid steam, which is purified of everything except pure H2O, that is the best for purifying, for drinking, for drinking to clear out your pineal gland. Fried food is very bad. Sugar is not good. Soda is not good. Pop, as some of you may call it, is not good. You did not just see me drinking that, did you? I did not see anything. But well, if you're that's, that's funny. Pop, then it is not a coincidence. I think that's that's really funny, actually. Do not always trust the elemental. They are so insanely smart that they are dumb when it comes to physical bodies. Exactly. We reptilians are the most physically fit beings on the planet. So then you are... Okay. Another question then, uh, uh, about your solar plexus, is there any information you can give to the collective consciousness of the earth about how to strengthen and open up their solar plexus if you're not, if, if that's only if you're done the question about the toad eye? Well, I think the collective consciousness knows that the solar plexus where lies your willpower, your your dreams of who you will become. Other than that, physically, if you were to physically try to adjust it, it would be working out your abdomen muscles. It would be Similar things, drinking certain kinds of water, eating lean meats, vegetables, and the color yellow. I perceive that it would be beneficial for you to, no matter what chakra you are trying to enhance or open up or spiral into the right direction, to meditate with your shirt off in the sun. Thank you for adding that interesting point. Thank you for asking. How is the channel's body doing?
well as human beings go, it is relative shape, but as his body goes, he needs physically work out more. He's being far too lazy for what we'd all prefer. And when I say we'd, I mean all of us who will and have chosen and have contracts to channel through him. I believe it is time I recede and possibly someone else can come through in a few moments. Thank you much, love. Thank you. Namaste. Okay, I'm entirely. Uh, can you even see me in the video? Yes, we saw you. I'm really dizzy. Everyone's so quiet. Are you guys there? Yes, I'm here. here. Okay. Oh, I'm just absorb uh I'm just taking in the information that was given. Yeah, I don't remember any of it. Something about raccoons. That's the last thing. Rapid raccoons being more sour? That's fucking disgusting. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, I guess it does. Ugh. Ugh. I can't. Ugh. I can, like, taste them. Ugh. Try and get the taste of cannabis since he says that when they eat it. it Is this recording? Them. I don't know. Brent, check. Is it recording? It's recording. Oh, God. Ugh. As long as it's not a human colony, I think I'll be good. Yeah, just uh, I'll channel. I'm gonna channel someone else. I didn't expect him to come through, but apparently he wanted to. Who was he? Uh, General Orokor. Hmm. At first, I thought General. he was that little hairy guy from uh, the Aaron the Colonies. Are talking about. Okay, one time you channeled a guy. I don't know what his name was, but he wanted his name to be said in a specific way, and he was he looked like. Uh, a tor a Taurus. No, is that what you call them? I don't know. You know, from the Greek times when they would depict those monsters, and they looked like they had they were half bull, and they were black, and they were kind of hairy, Minotaur. like those. Yeah, yeah Minotaur. I thought he was a little Minotaur guy. There was he was black. Some, I 